Hey everyone, so you've joined me um, with my little stretching routine. Um, so there's this challenge called the Cullinan to Tonsil Dirt Lockdown Challenge, which I have seen um, for quite a while and never thought about doing it because it was plain stupid. But um, the more I thought about it, the more I thought that I actually should do it. So. I'm about 20 minutes away from my start time at 2 p.m. on Saturday, the 18th of April. Hopefully, it is the 18th. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what I'm going for 10 hours or less total time. I don't know what my moving time is going to be. So, yeah, that should just put me at around about midnight tonight. So, we'll have ample time to finish because the Obviously, it's 24 hours, so it's from 2 p.m. to 2 p.m. But yeah, just getting the legs ready because it is a challenge new feet, as I know from last year, <laughs> the real thing. So yeah, we shall check in later when I'm about to start. And he's off. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. It's exactly. Two o'clock in the afternoon. I've got my checkpoints here. I've got my race number. And then I've got some words of wisdom. And then if you just come around on the side here, I've got this for shade so that it doesn't mess up the phone. I've got my my water bottles and that it's set up over there. Allen keys in case stuff goes wrong. A notepad and stuff in case I get bored. And then my energy stuff on the right hand side. All the company are a welcome friend. <laughs> so, yeah, the route I'm doing is called the Mega Pretzel on Zwift. It's 107 kilometers, it's one of the biggest. Um, the other one includes, for well, the biggest one, includes a little bit of a too big of a climb so decided not to go for that one but you're nervous as you can hear my breath um, no idea what's going to happen but we shall see and yeah my love if you feel like I do right now don't say you're on the And so, how's it going? I feel alright. Um, safe to say that the warm up is done. <laughs> the nerves are gone. Um, I'm 64.2 kilometers in. Currently, been riding for 2 hours 7 minutes. So, slightly over 30 k's an hour, which is what I want. But, yeah. Next water point is in 24 k's, so 88. And that's where I'm gonna have my first little break. So, yeah, feeling good. Going through one bottle and one bar. <laughs> so, we'll see how my that goes. So, Mr. Lang, first break after three hours. How do you feel? Very tired. I had the last tough section at the end there. A little bit of a climb. Um, yeah, nothing really to report on. Two bottles down. One bar still. And I'm on my, my third bottle there. But you are now going to have a 15, 20 minute break. Okay. Um, and then we'll get back to it. So you feel good enough to carry on? For now, yes. But you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you wanna cry, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. Okay, 
Okay, we're with Carl Lang. That's 25 past 6. And I'm feeling dead. And he's feeling dead. It's been nearly four and a half hours. Yeah. And this is the current state he's in. Talk us through what you're feeling right now. I, I can't even think straight, actually. I've done 115 Ks. I've ridden further before, but they're just like it's, there's no give whatsoever on the trainer. Mm -hmm. So there's no free reading. So you can basically double that, so it's basically 20 and 30 even <laughs> on the road. My legs are so sore. Will he carry on? Or will he not? Time will tell. Got your tea? Yeah, 100 and, 125 k's. 8 k's out from work went 3. It's a cup of tea. Not. Recovering from 115 k's, I have had two breaks since then. I've now just ticked over 100 miles, so 160 kilometers. So onwards from here is less than 100 k's. So as it stands, 100 k's to go, but we're cresting. Ne next. <laughs> um, Next pit stop is at 178 k's, so we're going four, and then we'll knock over the k's from there. Which are going good, feeling good. about 6 hours and 20 minutes of moving time not too sure if the total time is taking me but I'm planning on doing quite a bit of a rest now and then push it through to the last water point at 238 k's then have another little bit of a rest and then push it all the way to the end to 260 so it should give me 22 k's on the last stint but for now just trying to recover very tired legs are starting to feel a little bit sore but hopefully we can get this second last section done just over an hour okay good luck thank you And so we are back again. Day two. Please update us on what happened. So, 212 kilos last night, I hit a massive wall. I got very tired. So, yeah, continuing the ride from now. So, I've got 48 kilos left. Not too big of a deal, but still a little bit of a challenge after last night. So, we'll see how it goes. you want let's have a bit of fun till i downfall my love if you feel like i do right now 
Don't say you're on the run to the other side, my love. You say you wanna try. We are now at 240 kilometers, taking a break. How's it going? 250 kilometers. 250? Yeah. I thought it was 240. Not bad. 242. For 17 cases. <laughs> that one. And? Um, I don't know. I know it's only a lap on the circuit that, I, that I'm doing now. I felt fine when I got on the bike that you were now, it's now it's hitting me. Yeah, I mean, I've gone through more than half a bottle in 40 minutes. So, although there's less than 40 minutes left, I don't know how hard that 40 minutes is going to be. <laughs> but I just wanted to be that. <laughs> in the end, so, you can see the finish line, see all the cars. 200 meters to go. Meters. And so 260 kilometers have been done. <laughs> wow. How are you feeling that you completed it? I'm so happy. I get to get off my bike now. Um, so how was your overall experience of the race? Terrible. <laughs> I would not recommend that to anyone. How does it feel that you completed this race last year and now you had to do the virtual one? Yes, last year, in comparison to this, even with my fall, was a hell of a lot easier. Um, yeah, and I lost the words. I have no words. <laughs> what would you have changed if you had to redo this? I don't think there's anything I could have changed. Um, yeah. I'm just glad to be done. <laughs>